welcome back the today topic is uh, turing missions we know how what is meant by finite automata and pushed on automata now let's discuss about the turing mission as for chomsky hierarchy turing missions accepts the unrestricted language generated by the unrestricted grammars meaning that a turing mission is going to accept all languages accepted by the pushed on automata accepted by the finite automata meaning that turing mission is going to accept languages like unrestricted language context sensitive language context free language and regular language also okay so basically turing mission is introduced and developed by alan turing on behalf of his name it is named as the turing mission okay see turing mission is going to perform computations like whatever the computations performed by the present computer not all computations like mathematical addition subtraction multiplication you can do if you observe pushed on automata finite automata is not capable to perform this type of computations they are just act as a the string acceptor or string rejector only okay but beyond that turing mission can perform some mathematical computations this is what uh, informal introduction to the turing mission now let me introduce what is meant by a, a model of the turing mission as usual any mission turing mission also have input tape so what is special of the turing mission input tape is it is a infinite input tape divided into the cells it is infinite no limit on the length you can store infinite number of symbols in the input tape. but it is not possible in the finite automata and pushed on automata mission okay in turing mission input tape length is infinite okay see you can take this is also infinite and it is also infinite you can uh, use one end is closed also that's not a problem okay so for example i want to store a b a b for example okay let's say a b a b okay so remaining all symbols except the symbols all are filled by blank symbols only this is also blank this is also blank blank if you refer beyond this is also blank okay that's why it is infinite input tape okay then as usual uh, turing machine also have the uh, control called as the uh, finite control uh, which operates the uh, turing machine it has the head it is called as reading or writing head yes so this is the speciality of the turing machine it can perform read operation from the input tape as well as it can perform write operation on the input tape itself okay but it is not possible in the pushed on automata machine or finite automata machine that is the beauty of the turing machine okay so for example now right, right now finite automata reads the input symbol a from the input tape it can overwrite a with either b or x or y or z depending upon okay now coming to other one reading head can move in both direction either to the right or left also this is also one of the specialty of the turing mission a previous finite automata mission and pushed on automata moves in only one direction left to right now it is not like you can move in any direction either you can move to the right direction or you can move to the left direction that's what uh, differentiation of this reading and writing head so turing mission uh, mainly has three parts first part is infinite input tape the second part is reading or writing head a third one is finite control come to the one by one i explain you what is meant by infinite input tape the tape is infinite it can store infinite number of symbols okay you can store your input string into the input tape remaining all symbols are filled by blank symbols you know this tape is divided into the cells each cell can hold only one symbol at a time that can be input tape or that can be a input symbol or blank symbol okay you know one end is you if you want you can close this end and the remaining symbols you can store here otherwise you can open this end also here also you can store some symbols maybe it's all blank symbols if you refer and so on then you know what is reading and writing head uh, it can read the symbol from the input tape as well as it can do the right it can do the right operation onto the input tape okay if you want to overwrite this you can overwrite this a with x or b or if you want to overwrite a with 
yeah again also you can do same okay then you know the importance of the finite control is decides uh, whether the uh, mission can move to the new state or remains in the same state depending upon the requirement it can operate reading or writing head can move in left direction or right direction all are decided by using the finite control